finding the value of an expression when value of one variable is given. Examples Today we will learn examples on solving an algebraic expression when value of one variable is given. In the previous video, we learned about solving algebraic expressions when the value of one variable is given. Let's understand this better with the help of some examples. Example 1 Sumit has y number of roses and his brother Amit has 5 more than twice the number of roses Sumit has. If y is equal to 2, then find the total number of roses. As we know, the number of roses Sumit has is y. And his brother Amit has five more than twice the number of roses than Sumit. Therefore, the total number of roses with Amit will be is equal to 2 multiplied by y plus 5 is equal to 2y plus 5. The total number of roses will be is equal to y plus 2y plus 5 is equal to y plus 2y plus 5. By simplifying this expression we get is equal to 3y plus 5. As we know that the value of y is 2, by substituting y with 2 we get is equal to 3 multiplied by 2 plus 5 is equal to 6 plus 5 is equal to 11. Hence, the total number of roses will be 11. Example 2. Simplify the following expression and find its value when the value of x is minus 3. 4. x plus 1 plus 2x minus 2. By simplifying this expression we get 4x plus 4 plus 2x minus 2. By rearranging similar terms, we get 4x plus 2x plus 4 minus 2. By solving similar terms, we get 6x plus 2. Substituting x is equal to minus 3 in the expression we get is equal to 6 minus 3 plus 2 is equal to minus 18 plus 2 is equal to minus 16. Therefore, our answer will be minus 16. Example 3. In the given expression, the value of x is 3. Find the value of the expression x cube plus 2x square plus 5. Substituting x is equal to 3 in the expression we get 3 cube plus 2, 3 square, plus 5. Here, 3 cube is 3 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 3 is equal to 27 and 2 multiplied by 3 square becomes 2 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 3 is equal to 18. Therefore, 27 plus 18 plus 5 is equal to 50. So today we saw examples on solving an algebraic expression when value of one variable is given. In the next video, we will see some misconceptions related to this. Thank you.